guys, welcome back to my channel. I have not recorded in forever. My lighting is horrible. I don't know where to say this app without. Um, it's horrible. It's horrible. Just know it's horrible. Okay, whatever. So, I got you guys there. I'm just going to leave you guys there. So, I got my boxy charm today and I'm going to do a Shein haul. And yeah, I don't know if it's called Shein, Cheyenne, whatever you guys want to call it. But the first thing I got is this cute black crop top that has like these buttons right here. And it's not like the shirt where you could like button together. It's just there for the looks. I think it's really cute. And it's literally, it's just like a comfortable t-shirt to have in your closet. Don't mind my dad. He's going to be seeing like how we stuff. The next shirt I got is this teal crop top with a kind of mid turtleneck. It's fitted again, really cute. Um, I don't know how to describe clothes. It's just like a cotton shirt, like a normal kind of shirt. It's really cute. I like it. The next thing I have is not for everyone, but I really like this shirt. So it's like this glittery, um, see-through mesh material. It's glittery and it has like little ruffles on the top and the sides and like on the bottom. I think this is really cute, like a white tank top under. I think it would look super cute, but like, again, not everyone would, but would like this. Um, so yeah, I think it's really cute. So every shirt, disclaimer, every shirt that I'm showing you guys, I do not know the exact prices, but I guarantee you that it's less than $10 because I would not spend more than $10 on a shirt. The reason why is because I was paying and I'm cheap. I'm just kidding. I'm really not though. Okay, the next shirt I have is really cute. I really like it. It's this emerald fitted shirt again. It's like a spandex material and it crosses on your neck. It's really cute. I really like it. And it looks like this. It looks so the neck would go like that, obviously. And then the shirt itself is like this. It's really cute. I really like it. Um, again, less than ten dollars. Sorry I'm going fast, but it's just that I recorded this video and it didn't save, so I'm trying to go fast because I don't think I have enough storage for me to be uploading and i'm now just realizing that one of my eyelashes is crooked so it's gonna make my eyes look weird but i don't care okay the next thing i got is i'm gonna stand up oh my gosh so the next thing i got is this long sleeve um turtleneck shirt it's okay so the reason i got this i'm not gonna say i don't think it's cute but i think you can make it cute the only reason i bought this was because it was five dollars and if you go on Shein, you could buy so much clothes for like really really cheap like i remember i got this crop top for like three dollars and there's like shirts that go for like one dollar but you guys like have to be consistent on the app for it to give you like alerts and stuff super cute again i would wear this like with some jeans and like tuck it in the front with like a necklace oh looks super cute anyways the next shirt i'm showing you guys is super revealing it's not everyone's cup of tea but i think it's so cute like um for me i wouldn't necessarily wear this out because i don't know like i don't think my my parents would mind because i mean like it's not that bad but i mean some people think it's bad so the shirt looks like hold on i bought this because it gave me like cheetah girl vibes and when i was a little kid the little girl i really liked the cheetah girls so that's why i bought it so it looks like this it literally looks like a bathing suit like that's literally what it is it's a shirt but it looks like a bathing suit and it could literally just um be tied like a bathing suit or you could bring it all the way around and like tie it underneath your like on above your belly button really cute again super stretchy it has a ring in the middle it's super cute so that's it for the Shein haul. I wasted like $22 right there in those, I think. But anyways, the next thing I'm going to go into is my BoxyCharm. I love BoxyCharm, but they disappoint sometimes with the shit that they give. And um, I really like BoxyCharm, though. I think it's like a really good um, like service. It's better than Ipsy. The reason I say that is because... You're literally paying like the same amount, but Ipsy's giving you like sample sizes when Boxy Charm's giving you like the full size. I don't know if I'm right or not, but I used to have Ipsy until my neighbor Andy uh, made me um, switch over because like I liked the stuff she was getting. So that's why I say that. And I wasn't a fan of Ipsy because like the stuff they'd send me was like weird. So I have a lisp. I forgot I had my retainers on. But anyways, so um, they're 
theme this uh, month is festival vibes it looks like this so i'm just gonna go down the list honestly yeah i'm gonna go down the list so the first thing we have is the benefit cosmetics professional hydrating primer so it looks like this i've never used a benefit um primer i know a lot of people say they're really good but i've never used one because i buy all my makeup at the drugstore so i don't know i've never used it but i'm excited to use it um it's a hydrating primer again like i said and it's for oily and dry skin so i can't really give my full honest opinion on this because i've never used it but um we have this and um this retails for 32 dollars so there's that so the next thing we have is a gel for your face um so it looks like this and i already tried it on and everything i really like how it feels it smells kind of weird it smells kind of like cucumbery like kind of like those kind of scents but um i really like it i think it's really good it's like really smooth um and it is really extremely hydrating. That's what I like about it. Because my face is really oily, but it's really dry at the same time. I have, like, combination skin. So, that's why I feel like I really like this. And, yeah, it's really cute. It looks like this. And this retails for $48. $48, that's expensive. But, there's that. So, the next thing I have is the Iconic London Illuminator. So it looks like this, and I squ I swatched this earlier. I don't think you guys can tell. It's like really light. So what this is is what um you put before your foundation, so your face can look really like um I don't know how to say it. like your face could look really like shiny kind of like kind of I don't know how to say. It. I've never used one of these, so that's what I'm just saying because I've seen people use this, and it makes their face look like really glowy. That's what I was trying to say. So it looks like this. It's a really small bottle and it retails for four forty one dollars for this small bottle. Like it's literally zero point forty five ounces. That's really expensive. But anyways, it looks like this, really cute. I think you could even use this for highlighter if you want to put it all over your face. So I wouldn't use it for highlighter though because it doesn't really like have like that much of a sparkly glow. I don't know if you guys like a really like a light highlighter. This is your pal. The next thing I have is oh, that's not in this box. Sorry. The next thing I have is iconic linen plumping lip gloss. Okay, so I tried this on already. It comes. It comes. Um, I have it on actually. Oh, I look so ugly. But I have it on. It comes. Um, it applies clear. It looks pink, but it applies clear. The only issue that I have with this is that the wand is like really, um, how do you say? It? It's really like wiggly, like it's not like a sturdy wand. So, um, that's the only issue I have with this, but I think it's really good. Like if you want like, your lips plumped, it isn't the best plumper because the little tingly sensation only lasted like four minutes, but yeah, it looks like this and this is $28. 26 my bad okay the last thing i have is the illuminati because cosmetics gel paint duo in electric pink and blue so these are um eyeliners oh my gosh but you could use them on your waterline and on your inner corner as a, to do wings or whatever and i think these are really cute these are the swatches i know i suck at swatching but um here's a better view of them okay okay yeah so um I'm not the biggest fan of like eyeliner and stuff. The only reason I'm not a big fan about it is because I don't know how to apply it. But I'm going to put this on my waterline to test it out. So I don't think you guys could even tell. But um, I'm going to have to play around with these because I don't really know how to feel about colorful eyeliner i think it's really cool like when girls do like really cool like neon lines on their eyeshadow that shit looks dope these retail for 42 dollars and they are a duo so my opinions on this box are that i give it like a 7 out of 10 the only reason is because two things that i mostly enjoy out of 
the five are these two. Um, not that I have anything against like eyeliners and illuminators and lip plumping, but it's just that I don't really wear like lip plumping things or I don't really use illuminators or I don't even really use eyeliners because I do not know how to apply them. So I think that's like the only reason that I would, I would rate it a 7 out of 10. Um, but other than that, I really like it. I really like BoxyCharm. I think they send really good things. And I've had it for about like 6 months, 7 months, I'm not sure. But I really like the stuff that they send. Um, I think it's really cool how like you can get like all this stuff.